Hello everybody, how's everyone? They are Mega Kita Dance. Alright, today we are going to talk about gamers. Uh, more personally, we are going to ask our question. Are those people gamers? Alright, so the thing is, right, um, there has been things ongoing about Sweet Baby Ing, uh, game journalists, etc. But one of the things that we might have overlooked a little bit is the situation with the game, so-called gamers community. But the thing is, the last time I kind of talk, uh, discussed along the line that sometimes you may find some bad eggs in the gamers community. And more so, um, I would say that some so-called gamers or people complaining about things and they claim themselves as gamers along the line or maybe they just hate game along the line and when you look at sometimes the tweet along you will be like wondering like are they really gamers or are they people who are trying to step into the gamers community just to make a huge fuss i mean like in sometimes we'll call those kind those kind of people karen or i can't i don't know the new color part name for it but then again you you will find these kind of people once in a while but because social media is such a big technically public space for people to share their stuff along the line so it's more often you get to see this kind of people easily on a daily basis okay so all in all actually the reason why i come up with this question um is technically when i uh saw hero hill video that got released where it was stated that her outrage for male gamers didn't go how she wanted along the line and it's basically it's talk talking about celebrate where the character in in, in his own the body of the like the body of the car model is a 3D scan of a real life co South Korean model, a real life 3D scan. Meaning to say that if people say that you, I want the like some people always comment, I want the character to look realistic. Yeah, it is based off a real life person, all right. So if if people claim that the model doesn't look realistic, yeah, maybe the face looks to you is fake, but then I can assure you the body is hundred percent one to one based on, because they are they a 3d scan a 3d scan of a real life person yeah you got no argument now guys so the thing is right when you look at like uh when you put up the skill and you and the question is is the model realistic people can say that it's a game it's fictional it's whatsoever the skill is there but when the a strong evidence a strong counterpart by the game developer stating that it is a 3d scan of a real life model yeah they just throw every single argument out of the park oh, okay guys so the thing is right when you have an argument sometimes when you look like sometimes when we say like it's game um when you do a 3d modeling all these things along the line yeah it can take up time it can do what uh, it can take out effort and often more than not you can't really do an actual a actual model of a person sometimes like there is a little bit of form maybe it looked too good or maybe it looked too bad along the line somehow you can create a guy that looks so damn ugly and and you'll be fine with it along the line so the thing is right when you have a 3d model that is a 3d scan of a real life person that just throw every argument out of the part because it they model it you one is to one it's like there's no point of saying that hey it's is created because it is a scan i mean like if you can if you can get a printer scanner and you scan something into a computer that is basically what it is it is a one-to-one -one scan so the thing is that i can't understand why do some people saying like oh the game card doesn't look realistic is it that just because you want the game card to look very damn ugly look damn fat or look so whatsoever i mean like does that mean that um that you are looking at yourself for stating that maybe maybe no maybe i don't know but the thing is right the what i'm trying to stay out is that sometimes you can't really use yourself or the stand or people around you as the main standard now there are billions of people in this world that you may not be able to see which is one of the reasons why sometimes i say that sometimes you have to go out not just touch people will say go out and touch glass i would just say go out have fun take a look observe the surrounding sometimes you may be not aware because the thing is that what make a lot of people nowadays in this era which i'll put up a different random chat topic in the future is more towards that there are people who is that like, when they go out i mean like be honest with me guys when you go out of like look uh sit in the bus or sit in the train or when you go out and eat don't you use your phone look at your phone and do at your only phone along the line you don't do you eat when's the last time you leave your head and look at your surrounding do you walk and look at your surrounding or do you walk and don't look even at the surrounding or just go to the place you are because the thing is those people that is kind of like making noise on the internet claiming themselves as gamer that is the behavior they are 
showing and based on what I'm thinking right now. I have went out a few times myself. A lot of people will say that, am I an introvert? Yes, maybe that depends on how you look at it. But I do go out. I do go out, have uh, observed people, look at what is the later fashion that people tend to wear on a casual uh, casual day along the line or sometimes when I go and see what kind of uh, things that is happening along the line so often more than not I do go out but then again when you look at people that just say that oh I'm uh, I'm just a gamer I just stay at home along the line I don't need to look at other people the thing is right that is just a very wrong mindset that that they are happy thing right now so often more than not the one thing that when I see people complaining about uh character doesn't look realistic along the line or they need to be ugly along the line when when you go out and see you you won't see the same thing every single day just because you go out once you'll be do, can you expect that the next day you have the same thing again i mean like just let's say for example if you go, uh just for example like if uki san from niji sanji decided to go to uh a park will he get to see white people every single day maybe yes maybe no maybe not, i don't know maybe one day he may get to see black people or maybe one day he'll get to see a people of color along the line so the thing is that you can't be so sure you'll be seeing the same thing every single day so it's come to which brought me to the main point is that when people say that it the character doesn't re release day or that you want to add some diversity to it or when you add to add stuff that you um that you feel is the race along the line then when you look at the whole situation does it even make sense now because when you look at the whole situation sometimes when you look when you take the train do you do can you be sure that you'll be take, taking the same train every single day with the same passenger in the train along the line and you'll be operated by the same operator along the line the chance is very very low so the thing is right when you look at real life person just because you don't see it it does not mean that there is no such people with such a nice body or handsome look or pretty look because often more than not you will get to see this kind of thing if you actually don't look at your food and look at the surrounding along the line so when you actually kind of think about it right often more than not people tend to overlook these kind of simple things and more so with the era of the mobile phone i would uh, um think that now people really didn't start looking at the surrounding because sometimes one of the uh, one of the things that people tend to overlook is the surrounding you look at the surrounding there is so many things that you may overlook and often more than that when you look at this kind of thing it doesn't make sense to just say that hey that people that uh that game model doesn't look realistic often more than not as a as a designer you have to look at your surrounding and gamers not much so so often more than not when uh when those kind of people making their so called claim that it doesn't look realistic or gamers developers they think that they are not uh they want to make it ugly along the line whatsoever is it based off real life person or are they using a uh or they're trying to throw us along the line so often more than not it's a really weird question i know it's a very weird question but when you actually look at the baseline of all that is happening within the gaming industry as well as the gamers complain this is often one of the things that i tend to look and wondering like are those people who is complaining about the character looking ugly along that i mean like it go both way okay guys i'm not saying like oh just because the character need to look pretty that's why it's along the line i mean like it go both ways okay so what you guys have to understand that when you scream that the character let's say for example if i change the question what if you feel the character is ugly when you go out do you see ugly people maybe yes maybe no, maybe i don't know but again like i mentioned that does not mean that there are no people who doesn't look maybe so-called quote unquote ugly in your eyes so the thing is you you have to look at your surroundings there is a lot of people with different look with different hairstyle different clothes different shoes different whatsoever and often more than not you have to look at the whole situation that hey it may be the way I phrase my word may be wrong along the line you know what i mean so when you look at the situation now let's change and let the pe uh, people who is complaining let me ask you a question have you seen people who is good looking along the line or people with that nice body along the line in online or in real life if no go out and look there is a lot in the surrounding unless you are living in the desert or uh in the i feel then yeah so i'm so sorry that i can't help you on that and you might want to go and search online for more details on that but then again um it's really better question like when those people who is making a lot of noise online are they truly gamers or are they people who is trying to claim themselves as gamer or it's just because they play one game and they say oh i'm a gamer because i play one game when the game they play is just basically 
Snake and Ladder. Hmm. Mm, uh, uh, oh yeah, mm, very good. Uh, but then again, when you look at the whole situation, like sometimes even some some people who play, just play a normal puzzle game, they can still claim themselves as uh, gamers along the line because they to them is a game along the line. So the thing is, right now, the question we have to ask ourselves uh, um, in terms of skewing, right, is that what define the word? gamers now in this modern era the thing is right a lot of more than not when we use the word gamers everyone have a a very interesting take on this which sometimes when i ask a few people in my surrounding they often give me a different kind of view different kind of take and it's really better question like what is gamers is it just because a lot of computers or computer uh, things that related to computer is you just paste a stupid word gaming to the a gaming pc a gaming chair a gaming ta table ta a gaming mouse a gaming toilet bowl and then you and everything is gamer along the line yeah it's really a better question like what is truly a gamer is it because when you use the word gamer it just mean it's high end along the line or is it because you got rgb along the line or is it that when you say that the person is a gamer is is it because he play games a lot or is it a a competitive players in the esport tournament along the line or is it that because they play games a lot and they are gamers or is it you just uh, you just play some game and you can call yourself a gamer along the line so the thing is right when you look at gamers this word right it really better question like what is defining gamers in current era so when you look at the whole situation it's really a very hard to answer question despite it being a simple question at the same time so often more than not when you Think about it go and ask your friend or write in the comment below what do you guys think what define gamers what is the what do you think gamer is because the thing is that at the end of the day when you think about it it's it's just a simple thing you if you play game you're a gamer if you play high-end game you're also a gamer you play low-end game if you still play game it's still technically you're a gamer but then again the question would be like why would some people complaining about car uh like games that look to so-called sexualize or too realistic or too unrealistic along the line so when you look at the whole situation it's really better question like why would people complain i mean like in in this era i mean like if if you're from singapore you definitely will be saying hey people love to complain singapore complain king a lot la, they. so when you actually think about it it's not it's basically that's the case but when you look online when the the way people putting up their voicing their this uh dissatisfaction their anger their upset along the line sometimes you have to look at the situation like why would people voice their opinion now when you look at the whole situation is it because um games have go a long way that make the game look realistic or is it because it's not their cut of feet along the line maybe maybe no maybe i don't know but the thing is right games had like i mentioned had go a long way in the past we called the 8b game it looks so flat and then when they introduced 3d game to the gaming it became kind of funny in a way but then it was a very good era and then the when technology became better when technology became uh, like internet became faster and then you have the moment of the current era the era where a lot of games that lose so damn realistic or character that lose so damn mm, point point along the line so the thing is that it really begs the question like why would people complain about this thing when you look at mario games or nintendo games or any cute look looking game they are they are still keeping the moment of being cute of being um at least the model look very very smooth along the line so when you look at the whole situation you really better question like are they playing those kind of game or are they finding that sexualized game is a little bit too fast too much along the line it's really it's really similar to how is ai advancing fast or too far along the line it's because the thing is like when you look at games just as some game that look very sexualized um uh, just as uh, games that make it look too um 
too real to the point that people actually mistaken it as pawn or hentai game along the line but when you actually look at the situation is it really sexualized too much because the thing is right just because some people like it doesn't mean that everyone like it there will offer more than not be some people who find it not their cup of tea but then again the, uh, the simple argument to all this situation would be like if you don't like the game if you find it too sexualized don't play the game don't think about it it's just that if it's not your cup of tea don't play it but when you look at their sometimes uh i think based on red sun and hero hill sun the way they put it up it's really damn obvious when you look at when you go to their twitter and just type it along the line that hey there are also people who are also liking not safe for work image themselves so it's really bad the question are they contradicting themselves or are they into something along the line of that they find it too hard to play this kind of game in public aka their living room along the line because the thing is right when you actually look at the whole situation that may be the case don't get me wrong but then again when you think about this next situation what happened if the game is being played by a young child the thing is right if if the game had uh, some sort along the line of being like a rating call being meant for no children under 16 or maybe let's say it has to be a uh, uh, adult player along the line then yeah maybe i can see uh, it being a thing but then when you look at this situation where young children play this kind of game and miss like don't have a parents to give them the guidance they need to understand that this is a game and don't get too into this kind of character along the line then yeah i think it's it's a very fair argument in a way but often more than not when you look at the whole situation it really better question like the way they phrase it is it as per what i just argue often more than not it's really better question that sometimes they come up with real reasoning that they think is right is logical in their mind but other people may find bizarre and sure i mean like sometimes when i come up with reason it may sound bizarre to some people but often more than not i will give a, a example i'll give you guys a, a scenario to think about before i can put up the argument so often more than not it is something that you have to let people understand your point of view if not it will be just going down the path of madness because people may just think that you are coming out of reason that does not make sense often more than not giving weird reasoning just because of their obsession over the head for game it really bad the question like what are they thinking are they really stepping down the path to madness themselves or are they trying to come out with a logical argument that just does not make sense but maybe make sense to themselves so it really bad the question like again i mentioned are they truly gamers who is trying to give their best opinion or are these gamers who is trying to give a random weird reasoning so often what they know if we have to ask ourselves is that are they truly gamers along the line because when you look at the whole situation when you look at the whole point often more than not when you look at like some of the quote when people say about the game some people do like it whereas some people just say that hey someone some other game got way better like why would you want to defend another game i mean like all game is around the same so there are some people who is coming out with reason to the point that even to the point that there are some people who say hey can we get a guy with a bit um with a bit booba and then able to boys it up 100 times for along the line or maybe some people say hey um some people are more into pawn into this kind of thing so you really get the question like why would those kind of people talk about it it's it just that it just proves that sometimes some of them are not it's just they, they claim themselves as gamers they claim themselves as whatever but when you look at their logo and um, the way they add it just tend to bet the question like why would they complain are they really have nothing to do in the first place at the end of the day it's really better like if like they are even like it made me even more surprised is that even in Hero Hill's son video that is even a case where a person say that new gamers quote unquote along the line so when you look at new gamers who like this kind of game but then again in this era there is a lot of female VTubers there is a lot of female gamers not saying like the ratio of, of from male versus to female is a lot but then again it's just it's not like one is to one but when you consider that the amount of female gamers now on online or playing off stream along the line it's really better question like are they truly gamers along the line because if there is a lot of female character who is shipping for a nice character then it really better question like 
if back to the question I mentioned, what define a gamers now? Just because a character that is not up to your taste and then you complain about it, or are they trying to indicate that hey, maybe this one is a little bit too sexualized on the line? So it's often more than not, it's like the way people come up with argument, it it does not link out. It's like you are trying to pluck up a two flat pin you uh Japan switch onto a freaking Europe double circle pin that it and then you're trying to squeeze up the, you're trying to squeeze the pin into it and make it work but then it doesn't work and then when you realize that the switch broken because the plug doesn't seem to work correctly along the line that yeah that's really b- the, the whole situation right now is that yeah it's definitely a, a switch it's definitely a plug but then even if the head even if the head pl- um the connector is not the same people still force it in so it's really weird when you look at the whole situation like why would people start complaining about this kind of thing i mean like even if the game is too centralized for your taste the best way is just say you don't play the game like just like how i don't really like shooting dark games myself one i was i will like i mentioned i will say that yes i don't have a very good pc to play this kind of game which i that argument will be thrown off the window because i'll be having a new pc coming in soon so now I can't use the argument, right, guys? So the um, so if you see me playing FPS game, yeah, understand that I got a new better PC that I uh, that allow me to play FPS game now. But then the next argument that I would say along the line that I am not fond of shooting game. Why? Because it can't remind me of mass shooting in USA. It it give me that trauma. So. Asking a person who have a little bit of that kind of fear to play a game that he fear, it, it, is it gonna be a good thing? Maybe yes, maybe I know, maybe I don't know. I mean, like if you have to overcome the trauma in a way, yeah, I can understand that. But it really better the question like, will I have the um toxic mindset or will I have the wrong mindset along the line? It's hard to say. So often more than not, when you look at the whole situation, right, you have to look at a a a lot of perspective. You have to look at the situation like what is the reason that you're going to argue when you come up with the reason why you do not want the game to be too sexualized along the line i mean like the best option that i would just say that at least to the game developer the one way to appease both sides right it's not giving in to both sides but actually giving an option to both sides and what is it well i mean like this and my advice it might take my own random check so take it with a huge spin also and throw it at the uh, throw the side of the screen that you're watching me right now but the thing is right one of the things that i do come out is that i used to play dead or like a lot and there is one option in the past they always set in is that the jiggle face of the booba for the female's characters so if you don't want the character breast to bounce too much then what do they do you can go to the option and set it don't bow too much. So what I'm saying is that if the play if the gamers do not want their game to be too centralized, then game developers should give give in the option that hey, um there is an option of censorship or maybe a, a option of not too much censorship. So if people who is and who is going to do live streaming or maybe people who not into this kind of situ uh this kind of centralized stuff, then yes, it may be a good option to have because they can set it on and then if any accident happen, at least there will be some sort of censorship. But when it comes to like people who is playing off stream or people who is playing uh for leisure or for pleasure along the line, then may- there should be an option for them to make it along uh having that kind of censorship to be set off. And even if the- set off it doesn't mean that they go off full new full naked along the line, but at least it can appease both sides. I'm even if people say that hey they don't like that but the thing is right when you have the option to appease both sides why not go that route that at least that's how i feel it may take more time and uh, into development all this thing but it's more so towards the point that if you set the option the you just set the coding of changing the 3d costume along the line is whether they will they be fully clothed or will they be removing clothed along the line so it's really a simple texture setting that people can do the developer can do but it the question we have to ask now would be will they do it understand so the thing is like it's really 
questionable in so many ends and it really kind of made me wondering like why would people start making this kind of noise when you think about the whole situation it just seems to be weird i mean like it's even more weird when game journalists call um gamers out along the line like just like the situation for the sweet baby in along the line more big like some game journalists will go to the point of coming up with logical argument which sometimes you have to see yeah maybe a few points seems to be making fair uh i'll put up the link to the story because it's too long to read uh but i would say that sometimes the argument seems logical but at, when you look at the whole situation sometimes you look at game journalists along the line it's like why would you put up your argument as a game journalist when the argument when you are trying to ask people about their take along the line and w- and if you give a good take, yeah, I, I mean, like, she does give take in a way, but when she, the way she's trying to play it along the line seems to seem, uh, like, what are you trying to get in? I mean, like, you, she's already on the, uh, she may claim she is not obsession with it, but the way she's putting it is she's already showing the step two to step three point, which is she's going the route of giving weird reasoning, okay? Uh, but I'm not giving her the third phase logic because the reason is that she still come up with logical logic that i that kind of like let me understand it but again like i mentioned she is not going up the path of madness and my advice to her if she do watch this is that do be careful with the phrase uh and look at all sides first before because as a game journalist if you want to think as that right it's best to listen to all sides first before you give your side i mean like giving your own side of the story fine but when you come up with story that does uh that's just trying to attack someone else that just basically tem- game tap right along the line so yeah that's how i feel about it but then again the whole thing the whole re- is all a random chat it's just a random speculation a random stuff along that line so if you guys have your own take if you guys have your own opinion what define a gamer what is a gamer uh what is the best solution to make games much better along the line write in the comment below and we can discuss it further but till then don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where i talk about stuff that don't never follow a single trend and till then, have hope you guys have a nice day. All night. Bye.